having a hard time with leather because it keeps catching fire? Wishing your laser leather projects weren't just crispy cow chips? Is this you? Well, let's get that laser turned on and talk about what you need to know about leather so you can engrave it and cut it perfectly. There are a lot of types of leather. Today we are going to focus on natural tanned leather that has a thickness averaging around three millimeters. However, these techniques will also work with pre-dyed leather. If you are engraving into your leather and see that it's just burning through it and leaving behind a lot of residue and yuckiness, but want perfect results like this right out of the laser instead, then listen up. You just need to grab yourself two hydrogen and one oxygen molecule and combine them like a jillion times and put that in a sink or a bucket like this. Yeah, it's just water. Soak your leather pieces for a minute or two until they are wet throughout and pat it down a bit with a towel. Veg tan leather like this is practically a sponge, so it won't take long. You will want to mess around with your engraving settings as you may need to up the power or slow down the speed a little now that it's wet. It has different etching properties. There will be a bit of goopy cow skin bits left over from a large engraving and that's going to just brush or wipe right off. But before I show you the super cool way I'm going to complete this project, I'm going to put it in the sun to dry super fast. Don't believe me that this is all you need to do. Here is a different piece that popped right out after soaking it and here is the same design on a dry piece. It wouldn't even cut through and I use the exact same settings for both examples. If you know what this fandom design is from, then tell me who your favorite character is from the show. In the meantime, I'm just going to use some two-part five-minute epoxy to turn this cute little thing into a barrette. A couple of clamps and a few moments later, and boom, time to find a buyer. Speaking of making profits with lasering leather, let's finish up that coaster. There's a little bit of residue along the cut line, taking some isopropyl, if that's how you say it, alcohol, and a clean rag that comes right off and it dries again in just a moment. Now I'm not a fan of the dull look of this coaster, so I'm going to buff it into a shine. No chemicals needed. You just need a bit of felt or even a cloth of some sort and you can easily rub it into a finished shine. See the difference? It doesn't take much and it gives it a smooth finished look without any chemicals. I also cut a fun coaster frame out of some hardboard and painted it with spray paint. If you have a hard time painting MDF or hardboard, I made a super helpful video on that. I'll link it below. Using the same epoxy, I glue it all together and set it under a heavy book to cure. If you'd like to make one too, I'm starting a dollar download section on my online store and it really helps support me in the channel. Using hardware like this, you can make leather cuff bracelets and those are a huge seller. Here's one I wear personally all the time and it has lasted me years. I have an old leather video that goes over dyeing leather a little bit so there's a link for that and a playlist of other popular and unpopular laser materials you can learn about to laser or to level up your laser knowledge. Wishing your laser 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 leather projects Say that five times fast. All right.